Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of my video creation process. I use two tools, well, three tools primarily, to create any of the videos that you see on my channel here at Learn with Dr. John Pauls or my videos at Innovation Weekly. And I think that they are incredibly uh, professional looking videos. And so I'm happy with them. I want to share that with all of you. I've had some requests. And so this is my video creation process that anybody can do right from their home. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you right here, this this is step one-ish of my creation process. This is using a platform called Camtasia. I have the Camtasia 2023 version right here in front of you. I'm still exploring this version. It's got some new features and all of that kind of fun stuff. But what I love about this video platform is... One, it's just more than iMovie. It's more advanced, but it's still not super difficult at all to use. And so what I've been able to do right here, I'll show you in my library, I, every time that I create a video segment, I create them in Canva. Every time that I create one and I know I'm going to reuse it or I could reuse that same video, I import it into my library right here in Camtasia. So it is ready for me to use whenever I want to. I have an intro in here. I have an outro that I use every time. And so I can just put in things right here from Camtasia, never having to upload, never having to do any of that, that kind of stuff. So easy for me to do. So if you're in a specific niche and you are always talking about technology or you're always talking about music, as you create videos, however you create them, again, I use Canva. Check out my other videos uh, because you, all of this that you see has been made in Canva. It's really great. Uh, you got one niche, pull these videos after you create them. Save the time uh, that is needed for your creation so you can go out and actually research and do things that you need to do. So anyway, uh, what I wanted to show you, though, is something really kind of fun. So I want to show you a different feature called Audiate that is a kind of partner with Camtasia as I'm going to record audio. And I use, again, this TechSmith Audiate, and it is fantastic. I'm going to show you exactly why it's fantastic. Okay. So this is really the main part of this video. That what you can do, there's two, two ways you can do this. You can upload an existing audio file, or you can record yourself. I always just record myself. So I'm going to go ahead and click start recording, and I'm just going to talk. So bear with me for one moment. I'll pretend like it's one of my normal videos. Hi, hi, hi there. Hi there. No, that's not right. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. I'm so excited to have you with us. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the wonders of artificial intelligence. Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe at Learn with Dr. John Pauls and at Innovation Weekly, and make sure to connect on Twitter and TikTok at Dr. John Pauls. Let's dig into the <coughs> let's dig into the video. And I'm going to stop. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was horrible, wasn't it? It was absolutely horrible. It was actually on purpose because I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix audio. So let me just do... Okay. So you see it transcribed everything that I was saying pretty successfully. I have these. The, I have that highlighted in, in pink. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and learn with Dr. John Pauls. That's the wrong spelling of my name. There's no apostrophe. Okay, so a couple things that we're going to do. I always start in the top left corner. You see where it says suggested edits. I can silence all hesitations, delete all hesitations, silence pauses, shorten pauses. So I usually go with what the suggested is because it makes sense. So anytime that I did a, a pause or I didn't speak how I wanted to speak, it can remove those. So let's go ahead and first listen to it as is. Hi, hi, hi there. there. Hi, hi there. there. No, that's not right. Hi, hi there. there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. Okay, so we, we see some things, right? Now, this is where it really comes in. It's so fun. This is such a cool feature. First of all, this whole first one where I was starting and I really messed up, I'm just going to highlight all of it, press my delete button, and it's gone, gone from my recording. So let's start here. Hi there. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. Now, the cool thing about this is, is this can actually act as your closed captioning for your videos. We want to make sure our videos are accessible for everybody. And so you want to take time to make sure that things are spelled correctly, because when you import it into YouTube, if you want things to be spelled correctly. 
So I know that it spelled my my name wrong. So I just double click on the error and I put in what I want it to say and I hit enter and I'm good. Twitter, TikTok at <laughs> that one's wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's dig into the, oh, this is another area right here. So watch what I can do. I can just highlight. And if I want to just silence, I can just silence it and there'll be like a pause. If I just want to delete it, I can just delete the whole thing. And you'll see now I have no more suggested edits. We can silence all pauses. I'll go ahead and click that. So any pauses, these which you can see, are typically the end of a sentence. So this period, it is now white. That means it's silenced. This period is now white. It means it's silenced. The uh, comma. So these, instead of hearing you breathe, it is just going to be silent. So let's go ahead and see what it sounds like now. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. I'm so excited to have you with us. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the wonders of artificial intelligence. Now, that sounds wonderful. I, I love that. I love that. I'm going to show you some more fun things that we can do with this. So we can have, what is this, a wave editor, uh, where you can actually go in and you can adjust things and see things a little bit more clearly. So if I wanted to get rid of innovation right here, clip some sounds, we can do that. I don't typically use that feature very often, but it may be beneficial for you. What I do use all the time is in their bottom right hand corner. This is where you can add additional sound effects to your recording. So if you're in a loud area, if you don't like the quality or the timbre of your voice, you can adjust that right here. So I'm gonna hit the little plus sign with my VX. First thing that I usually do if it's really noisy, let's listen. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. So you can immediately see that difference. When I clicked denoise, it kind of it kind of dulled it a little bit. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John. But I like that. I think that's an improvement. You can adjust this preset. So if I want way more processing. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. I'm so excited to have you with I mean, it honestly doesn't sound too bad. I don't know. I'm going to go back Oh, here. Okay. So that's the denoise. If you want to level the volume, so essentially your whole video or your audio is going to be at the same level. Let's go ahead and enable that. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. I'm so excited to have you with us. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the wonders of artificial intelligence. I think Before I like we begin, natural. make sure to like, subscribe, at, and some of these it's hard to hear. And so you really just need to uh, play around with it and adjust it based on what, ooh, what you think sounds best for your voice and what you're trying to do. The equalizer, this is fantastic because it just kind of makes the, uh, the peaks and valleys of Hi your there. audio. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, leveled. Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John We Pauls. can add body. I'm so excited to have you with us. In add today's clarity. video, we're going to be discussing the wonders of artificial intelligence. Begin, make sure to like, subscribe at Learn with Dr. John Pauls and at Innovation Weekly, and make sure to connect on Twitter and TikTok at Dr. John Pauls. I don't know. I don't know if I like the improved male voice or if I liked, I think I liked add clarity natural recording. So again, you can use whatever preset is best for you, whatever you like coming out of your audio. And you can adjust all of these. I am not, I'm not intelligent enough at this point in my life to understand what any of this is currently. So just experiment. That's what I do. And when you get to something that you like, the sound, make it work. You can remove reverb. So any of that kind of reverberation, echoing content, you can get rid of that. It'll level it. Remove plosives. So plosives, I'm guilty of this. This is like when you say a p, -p, -p you know, and it just kind of explodes on your microphone. de I am guilty of this as well. My S's are always pronounced. And um, so you can de your audio if that is right for you. I think I'm good. I think I like what it sounds Hi like. There. Thanks for tuning in. We're good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to export and I'm going to export back into Camtasia. I could export it solely as an audio file and do its own thing here, but I like it when Camtasia and Audiate play together. So I'm going to export it directly to my timeline. It's going to ask you to save your current version. I really don't know where these saved files are going. I haven't had a need to know. So yeah, we'll find out. If I find out, I'll update you. All righty, so let's go. There we are. All right, so you can see here, this is my audio that I just recorded. Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. And if I highlight my audio and I can, it 
click edit and audiate, I can go back and make further adjustments. But now I, that I have this, all I need to do is I can go into my library. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weekly, and Learn with Dr. John Pauls. I'm so excited to have you with us. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the wonders of artificial... Okay, so we're talking about artificial intelligence. I'll bring this video down right here. I'm going to bring this video down right here. I'm going to adjust, and then we're going to see what it looks like. Hi there. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Innovation Weeks. I'm so excited to have you with us. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the wonders of artificial intelligence. Before we begin, make sure to like, subscribe at Learn with Dr. John Pauls and at Innovation Weekly, and make sure to connect on Twitter and TikTok at Dr. John Pauls. Let's dig into the video. Right. And so that was really just me recording it, my voice and audiate. I know that my captions are good to go for my video when I upload it to YouTube. So that's taken care of. I know that it's going to come out accessible and correct. I have adjusted my audio so that it sounds exactly how I want to present myself when the video goes into production on YouTube. And I didn't have to remake any of these videos because they're in my library right here in Camtasia. So really all I would have to do then is export either directly to YouTube. I always download it as a file because something's wrong with my YouTube connection. Uh, but literally that is it. And the power of that, let's go ahead and pull up the YouTube channel. You can notice I use the same intro video. It's branding. It works. Started. What are holograms? A hologram is a three-dimensional image. So there you have floating it. in midair. The possibilities are truly endless when it comes to video creation. And if you want a polished, if you want a streamlined, efficient way to create videos, uh, make sure to give me a follow because I'll be sharing my tips and tricks with you. For me, I design, again, all of my individual video portions uh, in Canva. I download each individual video from Canva. I add it to my Camtasia library so I can reuse it because it's all related to my niche. And uh, when I have an uh, idea, I don't want to be on camera that day, or if I'm doing my, my double YouTube podcast thing, it works. I can export this video and post it to YouTube. I can export this as an audio and upload it to my podcast. I, you know, take care of two birds with one stone. Uh, no offense, birds. So that is part of my process. Canva, Captivate, Audiate. It works really, really well for me. But I'm curious to know if you're going to use this, if you have a different process, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like and subscribe both at Innovation Weekly and at Dr. John Paul's here on YouTube and at Dr. John Paul's on Twitter and TikTok because I'm always posting content to those channels with the goal of helping everybody innovate in 2023. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm signing off. See y'all later. Have fun creating videos and innovating. Bye.